Hey guys, about a couple of weeks ago, I started obsessing over this nice, fatty, delicious cut of meat. And I asked myself, self, huh? Do you think you can pull it off at Parts Unknown? And I said, yes, a pork belly porchetta. I had to get some stuff together, but I pulled it off. If you want to see it, stay tuned. Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm. If you want to see me continue to make beautiful and delicious dishes, delicious dishes, <laughs> you guys, you might want to subscribe, all right? Uh, hit the bell icon, turn on your notifications, and give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you like what I'm doing. I'm going to be giving out some shout outs during this video. Now, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel and give me some comments, shoot some messages back and forth. You know, let me get to know you a little bit. And if you got a good channel, I like your content, you can just about guarantee I will be giving you a shout out. Oh, if you're a newer cooking channel or a newer YouTube channel, you might want to watch to the end because I got something that's going to be very, very important to you. And you will see. Before I start cooking, I want to give a shout out, my first shout out to Master King Chef Gerard Wiltshire. This guy has a great personality. He's a God-fearing man, crazy cooking skills. Uh, if I can just get him to reach out to me, I'd like to talk to you about that audio. But guys, go check him out. Uh, if you like him, subscribe. Tell him Daddy Cooks. Tell him feel so. All right, y'all, there's this pork belly. It's huge. You can see my hand. Well, no, you can't. Let's do it this way. My hand compared to this pork belly is huge. I'll make me a pork belly porchetta, but I'm gonna have to make me some type of a uh, rub slash filling slash um, marinade. All right, guys. So I'm gonna use what you see there: olive oil. I got some rosemary, some garlic, some salt. That right there, that right there, is fennel pollen. And then I'm gonna use some of this uh, hot rib rub, just a little bit from uh, Malcolm Reed, because I don't have that much pepper. Uh, so that's it. Next time you see this, I'm going to have to do some prep, and we will continue on, y'all. We will continue on. Pork belly, porchetta from Parts Unknown. <laughs> was put some deep scores into the meat, pretty much kind of cubic, but I didn't go all the way through. That gave me more surface area for me to do the next step, which is to add all these flavors. After that, I made that mixture with all those ingredients, the rosemary and the garlic and the olive oil and the uh, fennel pollen and all of that. I mix that together. I let it sit for a while so that the uh, kind of hydrate up the uh, rosemary, but then I slathered that all over that beautiful meat and I let it sit for a while so it can kind of infuse. rolled and I tied the uh, porchetta into that rolled roast. I've only done it like once before and I'm really not good at it so I didn't want you guys to see all that. <laughs> but I got it done. Uh, it took a little bit of effort but I made sure it was nice and pretty tied up really really tight. Looks like this. Finally, I sous vide the entire roast. What I did was I put it in a, a regular zip top bag. I got out all the air that I could submerging it. And then I put it into the sous vide maker, I'm sorry, the sous vide cooker. 
and I went to bed. I, it cooked for about eight hours, I think, something like that, but it, until I was sure it was done, it came out great. Thanks for sticking with me. It's coming along just fine, but I want to give my second shout out. All right, my second shout out is going to the Food Porn Network, Gary over there. Uh, something happened recently and uh, he had my back when he really didn't have to, and he's got some good cooking over there. So go over there, Food Porn Network, tell him Daddy Cook sent you. YouTube, listen, I'm working on that roast that you guys saw. I cut off the ends and cooked it along with the rest of it, sous vide. I'm here, parts unknown with my boss. He's gonna taste test some of the meat, although the roast isn't finished, to see if my flavors are all right, all right? This is my boss. I'm just gonna say he's Hank. I ain't gonna give his whole name. He's uh, Hank, <laughs> all right? All right, here you go, man. All right, ready? What we got? This is just the end meat, honest opinion. Mm. Oh, mm -mm. what you getting? Mm. Now that's pork belly now. It doesn't taste like pork. What it tastes like? Mm. The flavor is real. It's light. Okay. You can taste all of the. Uh, mm. Oh my god! I tell you what you don't what you don't recognize. What I use fennel pollen. Fennel pollen, I had to fly that in. But anyway, is it good? Man, is it good? <laughs> all right, all right. All right, mm. thanks. But you were bullfrog me, which uh -uh. <laughs> when I get done with the roast, I'm gonna bring you up some. Or I bring it out to work. Wait a minute. Don't bring me up some. <laughs> bring me up some. All right, we'll do. <laughs> uh. All right, there you go. All right. Uh, I, I had to call him and disturb him in his room. You see, he was, he was laying down. Anyway. All right, guys, let me get back to doing what I'm doing so we can finish this roast up. All right? Thanks, Hank. You're welcome. <laughs> you see how beautiful that was? The next step, it was all cooked and everything. You saw what Hank liked. <laughs> the flavors were fantastic. So I took it down to Dusty, and I put it on the, uh, the barbecue grill with some cherry wood, and I smoked it. I smoked it for about an hour. Everybody, here it is after one hour or so smoke. That is a beautiful thing. I'm gonna let that rest and then I'm gonna give it a cut and a taste. Hey, thanks for watching this much of the video, staying with me this long. This is what I promised you new YouTubers or you, you food channel people. This is called C.M. Coleman Video. This guy has a wealth of knowledge, a great personality. He seems down to earth and you will learn so much. He also has a couple other channels, which I'll get to in another day, but CM Coleman videos, you guys will not, will not regret it. Go over there, if you like it, subscribe to him, tell him that Phil, Daddy Cook sent you. Now, let's go on to the taste test. guys you guys saw that cook this thing turned out to be beautiful uh i'm gonna do my taste test now uh i'm excited here we go not too big of a bottle give me a little bit of fat and then the flavoring 
It's tender. Here we go. I got the smoke in this. Got that hint because I used the fennel pollen. It's kind of got a hint of like kind of a mild sausage flavor because the fennel. Oh my goodness. It's rich. It's fatty. Can't eat too much of this now. You got, we got to go light on this. Because essentially this is a bacon roast. The pork belly rolled up, it's a bacon roast. So be careful on your heart if you got those issues. But I got the smokiness. Uh, the skin is uh, tender. It's not crunchy, but it's tender. Uh, and it's supple and it's delicious. And oh my God, y'all need to try this. Uh, very easy to do, kind of complicated, but uh, oh man, it's well worth it. Uh, that's about it guys, miss you, love you. Um, if my girls were here, they'd call me Daddy <laughs> and I. Can daddy cook? Mm -hmm.